Hey, anybody seen John's dad's son around here? Ah, there he is. Oh, last night was great. The weather when they drove down was great. Got to the parking lot, everybody eventually showed up. About the end, less than three miles up, up to where we are. Um, you could hear the thunder coming. And pretty much everybody had their dinner either done or uh, were eating it in the shelter. And uh, rain came, poured real hard. And uh, yeah, then it let up and we hung the food bags and got in our tents. I slept all the way until oh, just a little after six, straight through. Did roll over a few times. I'll wake up a little bit when I roll over. And I'm trying out an Enlightened Equipment quilt for the first time. And that worked out really well. Real happy with that. And it's light. I got the 950 downfill. And uh, yeah, it was real efficient. So that's pretty good. And everybody's kind of getting up. It's uh, oh probably 7.30, quarter to 8, something like that. We only have less than 8 miles today. So it'll be an easy day. But I like to get up and get going. It's going to be warmer today, and I'd rather hike when it's cool. See up the trail. Well, camper waters around here someplace. If we got a blue blaze, now there's the blue okay, blaze. There's the white to the left. Yep. Okay. Oh yeah, that's perfect. It's hard for you to see, but I'll zoom in. This is the input to a pipe going under. And the water come cascading down the... Yep. And it comes out, I'll show you. Okay, it comes out right here. And they have several of these all along this trail. Somebody put a lot of work into this. Thanks, trail maintainers. Came across another one. You can see the retaining wall there. It goes under. And you might have to scoop that, but that's good water. All right, let's evaluate this for a campsite. It's nice and flat. There's a unofficial fire ring. There's room for a, lots of different tents here. It's right off the trail. Probably should be a little bit further off, but this isn't bad. I would camp here. Would you camp here? Oh, and you know what? There's some trees that might work good for hammock people too. And you see the trail actually goes back in. This is a, not an official blue blaze, but just a trail. So people have been here. If you're wondering what the trail looks like between Unicoi Gap and Bull Gap Shelter, you know, it, for the most part, it looks like this. Some parts there's a lot less rock, plenty of water uh, crossing the trail, so you can get water almost anywhere. There is, of course, a few times where there's some rocks or some roots, and coming straight up out of Unicoi Gap, of course, that first couple miles is steep, but yeah, it's, it's nothing that you'll be surprised by. It's a real nice, real nice hike so far. Oh, this has been a, a great hike today. The trail, like I showed you, has just been absolutely beautiful. 
And uh, just as we got here to turn at the turn off for Low Gap Shelter, a uh, trail runner, no, she's not a trail runner. Uh, she does trail maintenance and those are two different roles. Um, she came in, she's calling a big backpack, has a big backpack of uh, wood chips and mulch for the uh, privy. And so we always appreciate that, of course. Uh, the day has been beautiful. The sun is just starting to come out now. So it started out about 60 degrees when we started hiking at, oh, 7.30 about. And it's around noon now. The sun is just starting to come out, just starting to warm up. It's been a nice, cool hike the whole way. Fog, lots of times. It was, it's been really, really beautiful. So I'll head down now to uh, Low Gap Shelter. It's a little ways off the, the Appalachian Trail. And they have water down there. And I'm, I've heard that all the water is flowing really good in Georgia right now. And this is uh, beginning of June. So just for reference, if you're watching this in the future. This is a cool tree. Look at the personality it has. The 10 spots down by Low Gap Shelter, none of them are level. We're actually up at the intersection of the Blue Blaze to go to the Low Gap Shelter and the AT. And with the size of our group, we're thinking this might be a better place for us to set up. There's lots of uh, spaces here for tents here and across the trail. So our plan was to make it to Low Gap Shelter and Sean and I made it there by noon. Still had some energy. So we did some research and talked to passing hikers and a trail maintainer. And south of Low Gap are some several little campsites like this. Fit one tent, maybe two tents. So if you got a little bit of extra energy in and you're like we do, uh, yeah, feel free to splurge going south. Going now, north is the same. There were probably four or five little camp areas like this. Two to six tents and uh, all the way up to Blue Mountain. There's actually quite a few options of places to stay. Of course, this is where the bubble comes through in the spring. So uh, a lot of people find a lot of places to camp. This tree over here. About the same one. Yeah. You know, the tree that, that you got the branch on. There's a vine right here. I can tie to this. You wanna, it's not a fuzzy know. vine. That no, bad. that's a great vine. It it it'll hold it. That's fine. In the middle of the trail and, well, for our second day, it has been a great day. We hiked from Blue Mountain Shelter on the Low Gap Shelter. And actually, Sean and I got there at noon and decided to, <coughs> with some others, to hike further. And it's not on far out, but there's some informal campsites, from, uh, both north of uh, Low Gap and south of Low Gap. So if you've got a little bit of extra energy, you can actually go a little further and find a nice place like we did. Yeah, I want to give you some roses, buds, and thorns. Roses, you know, that I'm able to physically be out here. And, and this time, John's dad's son is with me, and that's always great. Um, our group is a little large. There's 16 people that are hiking. We don't hike together, uh, but it is kind of a large group to manage. And, and we are going through where the, the bubble goes through. So actually, the facilities are set up for groups. There are this many people. So it's actually okay, but we really don't like group this much but who do you turn away you know we're all, we're all friends we all like each other so you're not turning anybody away in terms of buds tomorrow we get our resupply tomorrow night we're going to be staying at mountain crossings so that's a shower and ice cream at a minimum thorns i don't know i got a little plantar fasciitis going on it did rain pretty much last night which was not, <laughs> it's not in the forecast and it rained hard um but it wasn't really a thorn. It was just a thing that happened, I think. Uh, no injuries, and that's a good. So I think roses and buds, but no thorns this time. So I'll see you in the morning. Smelling the tulips in front of the tulip tree. 